my name is Rachel Todman. I'm a financial advisor at Consortium Private Wealth. Today, just chatting about um, a couple of tips on how to avoid a financial hangover um, after a holiday. Not sure about how to avoid the other one. Um, you're gonna have to work that out for yourself. For me personally, um, set up a budget. So this stems from, you know, after all our expenses and things like that, um, an amount that we can set aside each week that goes into a separate account, referred to as a holiday account. Very original, I know. Um, so this, yeah, also dictates our budget on a holiday as well. So if we want to spend a bit more, we might have to just wait a little bit longer um, to get the, the balance up there. But it enables us to pay for the holiday up front and then also have um, funds available while we're away. It just means that when we get back, um, you know, we're not looking at credit card debt, we're not looking at you know, our everyday account balance being drained. Um, we're actually looking forward to saving um, and planning the next holiday, no matter what that looks like. Another thing to look at is holidays don't have to be expensive, um, having them within your means you can still have a lot of fun. I know I've had um, probably more fun camping um, at times than what I do when we go away for a more significant holiday. So yeah, just within our means um, and making the most of each opportunity um, as it comes along. When it comes to booking accommodation, um, if we do go away, I tend to gravitate towards an apartment. Um, again, shopping around for the best deal um, is always really important. The reason that I gravitate to an apartment is it not only gives us all, you know, the family a bit more room, but the main draw card for me is it gives us access to a full kitchen. Um, so that means we can do a bit of a grocery shop while we're away um, and I'm more than happy to cook some meals. Um, they don't have to be extravagant, they can be quite basic. But cooking meals, save some cash and then that gives us the ability as a family to do some you know, some awesome experiences um, that we may not get to do otherwise. So a little bit of sacrifice, um, yeah, is quite a simple thing to do, um, to find that balance between getting to do the things that you wanna do as well. Booking flights, again, shopping around for the best deal. Um, I tend to book flights that are earlier in the morning because they are cheaper, um, means an early rise, but I'm okay with that means we get to save some money um, and then also it means we get to the destination earlier so I get more yeah more time um, at where we're going so these are just um, a few little things that you can do um, just keep it simple stick within your means uh, make the most of, of what you've got and yeah, find that balance between necessary spending or ways that you can reduce spending so that you can have a more enjoyable holiday. Um, you can remember it as a fun time, not look at it as a um, yeah, financial hangover when you get back. You can start planning and putting funds aside for the next one. Um, yeah, at the end of the day, it's all about having fun. We all need a break, so enjoy. Thanks for listening.